Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you, some really good deals, new food finds, I'm excited. So if you're excited too, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That's what I follow to lose and maintain my weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our free Facebook group we would love to have you. So let me turn you around and let's talk all about this week's grocery haul. So here is my big grocery haul for the week. I shopped at my local Fry store, which is a Kroger store. They're having some really good deals. So I'll kind of give you guys some prices, tell you what weekly deals they have going on. And of course, all the Weight Watcher points will be here on the screen. Let's jump in. Now, if you know, you know, the Zero Sugar Peppermint Mocha is my favorite coffee creamer. I love peppermint, mint, anything. I scoured until I found the Zero Sugar. I'm so excited it's out. Now I can have this for months and months and months. So I was so thrilled to find this. It's like I said, my very favorite Zero Sugar coffee creamer. I got two boxes of Swanson chicken broth. These were on digital coupon for $1.49 each. I needed one box for a recipe and I picked up a backup. That's just such a good deal. I did get these little mini sugar cookies for Troy for the week. They were $3.75. And then I got little mini cranberry orange scones. I did have one of these on the way home. So good. I love their little mini scones. They are just the perfect perfect size. They also have all of their Kroger brand cheeses, three for five dollars. That's a really good deal. I got a bag of sharp cheddar, Mexican blend light for a recipe, and then I got a block of sharp cheddar for meat, cheese, and crackers. Troy's bread is also buy one, get one free, so that makes them about two dollars and twenty-five cents a loaf, cheaper than Costco Sam's Club, so I picked two. I picked up two more loaves for him. He decided that he likes the Milo's brand of the Zero Sugar Tea the best, which is great because it's a lot cheaper than the gold peak so i actually got him three gallons of the Milo, milo's zero sugar last week i got him two gallons and one gold peak and he ran out so i'm hoping that three gallons is the sweet spot for the week and then i also got two gallons of one percent milk for him i did pick up some tortilla chips because i got our favorite dip it's our favorite little snack and we're out of the leaf shaped chips from trader joe's so i just got the kroger brand of the tortilla chips i also got some low carb tortillas this is for a recipe for my lunch, actually my lunch meal prep. And then bacon is $3.99 on a digital coupon. That's a great deal. So I picked up three packs of the thick cut bacon. You guys know how much we love BLTs. And I actually need bacon for a dinner recipe this next week. So perfect timing for that digital coupon. More mustard for Troy for his sandwiches, some light ranch dressing for a recipe. And then I got four more of the little Knudsen cottage cheese things. I've been loving these. I got two strawberry, one pineapple, one peach. These are still on sale for four for five. So what, $1.25 a piece, so not bad. I also was out of a few of my baking essentials, so I grabbed some more brown sugar. Here is our favorite dip. We love this seven layer dip. It's 45 calories for two tablespoons, and it is such a filling snack. We love it. We go through this in just a few days. And again, that's why I picked up the tortilla chips. Love, love, love. And then this was a steal, $2.93 for eight 80-20 ground beef hamburger patties. I actually just cooked up a pack of these this last week for Troy. So that was a great deal. You can't beat $3 for eight hamburger patties. I also got some Barilla Protein Plus pasta because we're having spaghetti for dinner this week. After the grocery haul, I'll tell you what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. I also needed a restock of my baking powder. And then I picked up two more cans of the 100% Pure Pumpkin. This is on sale for $1.79 a can, which is really good. So I picked up two more. Got another box of instant rice for Lola. I do make her dinner. I actually shared what I make for her in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. If you missed that video, I'll link it. But I just use the instant rice. She doesn't care. And it's easy. So I grabbed another box. I also picked up a small half gallon of whole milk for a couple of recipes. And then there Hillshire Farm Deli Meat is on digital coupon for 
and 49 cents, normally $5.50. So that is an amazing price. So I got three. I got roast beef for Troy, pastrami for Troy, and then oven roasted turkey for myself. I also am completely out of regular flour. In my meal prep, I had to use self-rising because I ran out of flour. So I restocked that. Got my favorite lettuce, obsessed with this lettuce. It's the private selection artisan romaine. My favorite for unwitches. And then Troy puts lettuce and tomato on his breakfast sandwiches. I did grab a couple of apples because these are also on coupon for 97 cents a pound. So I grabbed a couple of those. Again, tomatoes for Troy's sandwiches, BLTs, and then a big red bell pepper for a recipe. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week for dinners. I'm making a one pot bacon and corn chowder. You guys will see that in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. And then like I mentioned, I am making spaghetti. And then for my meal prep on Monday, I'm making copycat Dunkin' Donut omelet bites for breakfast. For lunch, I'm doing turkey ranch club sandwiches or wraps, I should say. And then for a dessert, we're doing chewy pumpkin cookies. So again, stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for a healthy week. I'm so excited about meal prep on Monday and that soup for dinner. It sounds amazing. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Video.